Hi, Kim. Hello, Kim. everyone. Yeah, nice to meet <laughs> Thanks you. for chatting. I know that many fans are going to be thrilled to see their favorite characters back in some new adventures. Can you talk about how the Crute family tree is going to be different than the films and the previous series? Amy didn't get to talk last time. Did yeah, you should, well, this jump is in. Another, you should definitely answer this one. And then I'll just <laughs> the um, how is it different? Well, the, um, the first difference is obviously that we're going to, uh, you know, you really, at the end of the second movie, you got to see the families sort of move in together. And so we pick up right where the second movie uh, uh, ends with the families living together in the treehouse. So that's obviously the biggest difference is now they're, they're roommates basically, and they have to figure out how to coexist and get along and blend their very different ideas of what uh, a life is together without killing each other. Um, <laughs> so that would be the one, one biggest difference. Yeah, I think we have uh, uh, and a chance to explore more than what, what we got to see in the film um, because we have more opportunities to tell new stories um, and just see how, how deep these uh, feelings and, and lives of these uh, people go. Um, we've, we've gotten to play a lot more with this, with this world, which was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think the film also sets up like the perfect, perfect starting point for a TV show. I, to, to think of that you now have these two op, like different types of families and it reminds me of like the honeymooners and you know um you know god all those sort of like classic comedies where you know families have to all in the family um you know and and the flintstones like i as i was doing this i was like oh i feel like i'm in the the re like uh the reboot the modern reboot of like one of my favorite <laughs> shows when i was a kid um, cause when you have like families interact, but you're also like in a different, completely different world, this like, you know, time and place where you can push through all the sort of themes and conflicts and character interpersonality stuff of a family and friendships, but you do it through this like imaginary world. And so you can, it's just a wonderful way for kids to learn lessons. And I think also for parents to like deal with some harder issues in a more lighthearted way. Uh, and, and so I, I think it's gonna, I, I agree with the writers too, like they've definitely gotten, it's been so cool We've as we move into it deeper to learn more about each character and what makes them tick and what makes them happy and what makes them sad. And so you get a lot more space in a TV show to explore character development than you do in a two hour movie. So that's, I think we all feel very lucky to get to play them. There are so many fun stories that can be told with these characters. I can't mm -hmm. wait to see what happens next. Yeah, thank Excellent. you. Thank you. Hey, um, the Crude's family tree shows our family kind of adjusting to spending more time at home. Um, this is something a lot of us can relate to after the last year and a half of social distancing. Without any spoilers, what can we see for our pre favorite prehistoric family coming up in the series? Mm. I don't need spoilers. I'll let you <laughs> I mean, we I got to think about what it, I'll let you go first. Yeah, I was going to say, we do get to see them, even though they are um, at home, so to speak, they're, they're in this lush world that, um, that uh, has been created for them with this beautiful tree house. I always say that uh, when I'm watching the show, I'm like, I want to live there. Uh, I would never leave that house either. Um, but they get to explore, um, you know, this wonderful world and occasionally leave the wall so to speak so that they can go see some other worlds no spoilers but um but we do we do get to adventure out once in a while so yeah the farm uh that was introduced in the second movie you know is such a great sort of uh world of its own um that you can see some of it right behind me i think <laughs> um so there's a lot to play with in that world. There's the treehouse and the and the waterfalls and and uh, all kinds of different hidden areas and there. And then you know I think it's I guess it's a it's a little bit of a spoiler that yes they they will venture uh, beyond the wall because uh, why wouldn't you in this um, this amazing world? That's right. Once in a while you gotta you gotta adventure outward. <laughs> 
I have to admit, I would like to run away and live in the, the tree house. Yeah. If, you, <laughs> you if, you, if you could be a prehistoric person like the Crudes or the Bettermans for just one day, what would you like to do? Proverine gliding. <laughs> You'll see. I want to ride a dinosaur. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. <laughs> Flopping, you would you wouldn't want to flop with the bulruses. I'll flop with the bulruses. Yeah, I want to do like a, I want to ride a prehistoric animal. I think I got to ride a camel uh, in a show, which is not like as quick, but it's really cool to be that high up and and be on an animal. That so that's what I would do for the day. <laughs> yeah, I love I love to wander around in this world with its giant fruits and incredible hybrid animals and just see see all of it like uh, you know one of the fun one of my favorite scenes uh in jurassic park is when they come over the ridge and they see the dinosaurs for the first time and i'm like how, ama how amazing would that be to uh just to see those different types of creatures and and, and how big they are um this this world has a lot of like unique elements that i think would be fun to it would be fun to be a tourist uh in this world <laughs> Unless you get eaten. That's true. As long as, like, you know, if I could be uh, protected in some way. You can avoid it. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see what new creatures are to come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.